here with you and I'm here for day number 20 of 30 inks 30 days and today we're using the Noodlers ink Apache Sunset and uh, I figured I would what better pen to use than the Noodlers this is a nib creeper and it's the uh, poltergeist uh, what's the name Pul pumpkin poltergeist and um, I'm really bad at filling it so let's hope that this time around because I'm on camera it's gonna all, all go wonderfully what do you think guys any bets what is it is it gonna be good is it gonna be bad how good am I doing how bad am I doing I have no idea let's be honest however I this is one of the first pens that I bought um, I might have had like just a few more pens before I bought that one and at the time I was not used to any um, the Noodlers inks are so generous like the bottles are filled to the brim you have to be careful and I just made as you can see some drops but it's okay um, so I was not used to piston fillers and that probably makes a huge difference but we shall see if I'm any better now that I've got experience and I can't see any ink in there I know I, it's working because I've got bubbles that appear when I push down the piston Oh yes, uh, oh boy, that might have been a winner. I got a lot of ink this time around. This is the first time I've actually had that much ink in this pen. So I'm very excited because this is a beautiful, even though this is a fall color, this is a really, really stunning ink. And um, I don't mind, I'll journal with it and I'll just have fun with it if I can use it and again it's one of those times I guess where I wiped it too much and I shouldn't have because now it's not it's not going okay, so we've got it going and uh, hopefully by the time I do the writing samples, it, the writing sample, it's going to be better. And I'm so sorry guys if sometimes my, my videos, my head gets in the way. I'm trying the best I can, but sometimes the, the, I zoom in more and it becomes harder for me to, to do this. So, I don't know, I'm hesitating if I keep on doing the face-to-face -face or if I just stop it. But at the same time, I get to speak to you guys in a more real fashion, I should say. So, I don't know. The jewelry's still out. And uh, we'll just get a little bit of that. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous ink, and it's so filled. Like the bottle is like to the brim. There's only like that, that tiny little bit that's not. And and I've already used it. This is not the first time I've used this ink. So. But it's 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 really it's really a fun it's a fun ink and it's there's great shading in it and just just an amazing ink all in general. So I'm really happy to have a big bottle like that. It's gonna life, last me for my lifetime, I guess. And I'll probably give some to my my mom, my stepmom, and um, dad because I'm sure that they would like it. So this is Noodlers. And it's Apache. And I'm very pleased with this because I've never had 
I've never really appreciated this pen. So, I have to admit as well that, well, this is, I think this is a flex snib. That's what I have written down as, but it doesn't look like the typical flex. Oh boy, you can see the, uh, you can see that it gives a lot of ink because it's feathering like crazy. And I've had, I haven't had any feathering like this in all the other inks so far this month. So it's either the pen that's giving a lot of ink or the ink that on this paper is just not uh, it's just not a a good match and it would feel a lot more comfortable like this it's a very very light pen which is probably why also that I wasn't such a big fan because I don't usually go for skinny pens but it's very light so I guess for for long writing uh, it would be it would be pretty good Ah, and what was bound to happen happened. I guess I flexed too much, and there went that big drop. Have to be careful. It's like very flowy. I shouldn't press so much. That would probably help also in making sure that I don't cramp up. Okay, I've got a feeling <laughs> I've got a feeling I'm gonna regret trying this out, but we will do it anyway. Point being is it's probably gonna do a lot of blobs or maybe not. It is definitely flexy. So that's the writing sample. You can see my big blob. But it's a very, very pretty ink. I really like it a lot. Now let's go and check out the rest of the stuff. 
Why did I go to click it when it's a turning thing? I don't know. That's the part when you use many different pens, sometimes you get confused and you go to click and it's a turn or vice versa. But that happens. Here is the Apache Sunset. It's not pretty. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Very, very pretty. I'm not a huge fan usually of that type of ink, but when I had seen it, I just had to get it. And that's probably one of my favorite type of yellowish, orangish color ink. And you can see that there's a lot of yellows in, in here at the top, this chromatography. And honestly, there isn't any other ink that I have that even comes close to this. So I have really nothing to compare that I can share with you guys. Um, my ink collection, I have a, a lot of bottles of ink, but I don't have, uh, I haven't tried uh, that many because usually when I buy, when I buy some ink, I buy some ink that I know I'm going to totally adore. So I buy a bottle, but I don't have like a ton of different samples of all kinds of different makers and stuff. So I can't, uh, I can't say what, what would be the best for for this so but I hope you've enjoyed seeing this and I'm very pleased with my my nib creeper honestly that is giving me the thinking that is probably it's not even probably this is definitely me uh, not knowing how to use my fountain pen as much and not being good at filling it up and the piston filling mechanism and all of that and you can see the difference a couple of years of fountain pen use uh, makes but this poor little pen obviously because of this situation didn't get much use at all so so I'm glad that I'm actually liking it and who knows I might ink it up more often because this this would be a good match for it um, and I think that's when when I got that ink because that was one of my first ink bottles as well. I think I got it at the same time as the pen pretty much. But uh, yeah. So, hope you've enjoyed and I will see you guys for day 21 tomorrow. Bye!